one of the keys in pool is being able to find the true center of the cue ball and of course being able to hit the true center of the cue ball. But if you're not able to do this and if you're always putting a tiny bit of spin on the cue ball, this will cause a lot of problems, especially on long straight in shots and shots where you really have to power the cue ball. So let's have a look at this straight in free ball and here I'm accidentally going to put a tiny bit of right spin on the cue ball. What will happen is the cue ball will deflect to the left and because of that we will hit the free ball into the long rail. As I mentioned I'm putting a bit of right spin on the cue ball. Well, today I'm going to show you um, a really clever way to actually find the true center of the cue ball and also two really nice exercises to do that. But first of all, real quick, why aren't you seeing the true center of the cue ball? This could be because of your head position over the cue. My left eye is a bit more dominant. I'm a bit with my left eye over the cue, but you can also be like this or perfectly centered. But I also already made a video for that. And if you want to find your true eye alignment, have a look at the video top right of your screen and in the video description. Okay, let's talk about how you can find the true center of the cue ball. And you probably know this drill or exercise where you're putting the cue ball perfectly towards here on the table and your goal is to hit straight into the rail without any spin on the cue ball. This means you're hitting center and the cue ball should come back to the tip of your cue if you had no spin on the cue ball. So let's have a look what happens here. Perfect. So this is really nice to test if you're actually at the center, but how do you find the center? Well, there is a really, really nice trick. All right, guys, let's have a look from this perspective now. And again, just as in our example, the cue ball is perfectly at the center of the table. So I'm going to use my cue and trying to aim to the center of the cue ball. And now you should already see that we're a bit to the left and here we're a bit to the right. But how are we seeing it? Can you actually see this light streak here up on the cue ball? And this is caused, if I put my hand over it, it disappears. This is caused by the lights that are over my pool table. And every pool table should have lights, in the best case, of course, perfectly centered over the table. So if you're practicing this, you can actually use the light on the cue ball to see if you're a bit to the left or to the right. So this is just a reference for you to find the true center. And in my opinion, this is a really clever trick. So let's have a look if we're actually a tiny, tiny bit to the left. And now I'm going to show you this exercise, which is pretty much the same as before, but this time we're having an object ball on the table. So all you have to do is just play a perfectly straight stop shot on the one ball. The cue ball should stop here and then the one ball goes into the rail, comes back and kicks the cue ball in the best case back to the tip of your cue. And this is insanely difficult. So I would be really satisfied already if the one ball kicks the cue ball past the side pockets. This is already a very good result. And if you're a beginner, don't do it that way. Just start without the optic ball. But I'm going to give it a try. Let's see how it turns out on my first attempt. Even though I didn't make contact with the cue ball here, I would still be really satisfied because this is a really difficult exercise, but it will definitely help you to work on a straight stroke and finding the true center of the cue ball. And if this video was helpful for you and if you want to see more lessons on pool, then consider to subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Thanks for watching guys and as always, see you at the next lesson. Take care.